Okay, so I just got the uh, impulse slider for the uh, FCS HOTAS uh, throttle. Um, a common problem uh, with these throttles is they they tend to they tend to to stick, and as you can see, just trying to push this with one finger, it's it's jumping around uh, quite a bit, and it's not very smooth. Now, if you put pressure down on it, you can get a little bit of like better precision, but I mean, you can you can hear that. It, it's it's not it's not smooth, which kind of ironic, because that's supposed to be one of the great things about these is they're smooth. But um, I can't show you down in there, but it's essentially a huge problem design flaw with these things. They tend to well, all of them are designed this way. They they have metal rods inside with a just plastic not not even a bearing or anything like that so what happens is um, plastic does not like to slide on metal and there aren't any lubricants that you can buy that I'm aware of that actually fixes this problem so someone on uh, Etsy made a comment on one of my videos and I was very interested in this because a lot of people I'm a, uh, I'm in contact with own this throttle this is in my opinion, this is better than, well, most of the throttles out there on the market. I'm a huge fan of the layout of the buttons and uh, it's, it's general capability and it's affordable. So that's nice too. Um, regardless though, someone made one of these and it's supposed to improve that. This, is, this is essentially is going to replace um, this piece on the inside. And as you can see, they have a different bearing, bearings. Uh, these are the metal ones I ordered. However, he also sent me the polymer bearings that you can also get. So I'm going to uh, install this and uh, give it a go. And another very, very cool feature is he built in a, a magnet right here and he gives you a magnet with um, a double-sided foam tape. And the purpose of this is so that you can make a custom detent, which is amazing. So what you can do is you can put it at 50% on your throttle. So when you're at 50%, you're not moving forward or backwards. You're just static. And then if you push forward, you go forward. If you pull backwards, you go backwards. This is for Star Citizen. But I guess other people could use this for DCS if you wanted to uh, move this around so that it's right there at that afterburner detent. Um, but yeah, let's get this in here and uh, see how it works. So I'm just going to kind of record the kind of problem solving, uh, how to install this. To my knowledge, he does not have a uh, installation guide, uh, but he has told me that he is planning on making one. I actually don't think this is going to be too hard. I think all I have to do is remove these screws, remove the bottom, and then I should just be able to disconnect it, plug this piece in, screw it in, and be good. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so... Uh, sure enough, all you have to do is unscrew the um, cat hair, uh, unscrew the bottom, and uh, this right here is the piece that you're going to be replacing. As you can see, this is something else that's a problem. It does have some sort of lubrication on here, um, but it, it's, I mean, it gets crud on it actually because it's not a closed system. Uh, I've had this for a number of years, by the way, at this point. Uh, so anyway, this is a piece that I'm replacing here. So I'm going to unscrew this piece and the throttle should come off, uh, I would assume. And as you can see, this actually lines up here. So it should go like this. And you can see that the screw holes seem to line up. So this piece here should be going right here. And as you can see, right there, we we'll go right here and here. And then these are the bearings that will slide on these uh, metal rods here. And as you can see, it's just plastic that's sliding on these things. So that's that's why, because plastic flexes, and I, I assume it's because plastic will flex and it tends to grip things, as opposed to something that's more rigid like this will, um, will not do that. So uh, let's go ahead and get this off and then I'll return. Okay, sure enough, um, you just take out these three screws here and the throttle will come undone. And then this wire here 
plugs in right here, and this just slides out. Um, also disconnected this, and if you're wondering, you might want to be gentle with this piece right here in particular. This is where, this is what actually um, uh, feeds the, the board information about the throttle's position. So uh, probably be gentle with that. So sure enough, um, all you have to do is unscrew here. There's two screws down here, two up here, and uh, these pieces will pop off. Um, these are right here. And the whole assembly pops off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the screw from here, here, and this one here. And uh, these are the bars that were, um, that it slid on. It also has these rubber uh, uh, <laughs> rubber things. Uh, I, I forgot how to speak apparently. Uh, these rubber things here, uh, gaskets to um, cushion when you, uh, when you push it uh, all the way up to the uh, limit. So um, now all we have to do is just install the new piece. Before I fully install it, I'm definitely going to see what if the polymers work better than the metal. My my thought on this is I'm unsure about the polymers, but uh, I'm pretty sure these are going to be better than this. This has no bearings at all. There's no bearings in this piece at all. It's just straight plastic, and this is why it sticks. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to pop out one side, run one of these uh, rods through, see how it feels. Um, Eventually, I might come back and either put all of one and all of the other in uh, and try both out, but no promises on that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like the metal ones better, but the polymer ones, uh, from what I hear, are the ones to get. Okay, so I've, tr I've uh, been toying around with both the metal and the polymers. Um, both are pretty smooth. This, this is significantly better with the polymers than uh, the original. I do like the metal ones more. Um, the metal ones are actually bearings, but as you can hear, uh, they are definitely more noisy than if I flip this around real quick so I can hold it with my pinky. This is a lot quieter, but also significantly smoother than this. However, I think I'm gonna go straight for the, bearing, the, the metal bearings. They actually have casters on the inside um, to assist rolling. You can see the, the metal uh, BBs in there. And uh, also I think around the edges, these also twist. Yeah, I feel like they do, I could be wrong. Um, regardless, I, I think the metal ones are the ones to get, not the polymers. Uh, the polymer ones, I would say get these if you're worried about noise. Uh, this is definitely going to be an uh, improvement. I still don't like the fact that it's metal on 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 plastic. It's, um, but but yeah, metal ones are amazing. This is like way better. These these things actually like glide. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up my my rods a little bit more. I'm gonna pop the metal ones back on that side. I want to put everything back together. Okay, so I've come back upstairs really quick and. The reason I did this is I want to. I really want to get the center detent in this, and uh, I will say, I've been, this is so smooth, but also it's pretty loud. So maybe the polymer ones actually are uh, the better choice. Um, but these are just so smooth compared to them. I have to try this out. But anyway, so the magnet is right here. And you can see a little hole, and I have the, the spare magnet right here. And what I'm doing is on my screen, if I move. You can see, um, now obviously I haven't plugged, like this is just the base, so the only thing it's picking up is this right here. Um, but I'm gonna get right there at 50% on that Z axis, right? And uh, so that's 50%. So now I know roughly the magnet needs to go right there. So I'm gonna hold my finger there, I'm gonna push this up, and I'm gonna place that magnet right here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've actually made my, my first mistake for this entire build. So these pipes right here, the, these rods, uh, they have quite a bit of grease on them. I didn't bother washing my hands after touching them. So all the oil from that got on the adhesive and um, yeah, that's something to look out for. That's okay though, I have a uh, an adhesive of my own. I use this uh, Gorilla Tape for 
a lot of things. So this stuff I know is really strong. I've washed my hands, so I shouldn't have grease on them anymore. I'm gonna just replace that adhesive on the back of this and put it on there and try again. Um, hopefully it sticks this time. Uh, okay, so I managed to uh, get the center detent right where I wanted it. And yeah, it does, as you can see, it will stop itself, which is exactly what you want. And you can pull back. So this 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 works. This this situation the magnet seems to be a very good center detent. I've tried doing stuff like that in the past with this throttle uh, by mounting like a magnet down here, but it just has not worked. This works. So this this design for this thing is actually really uh, really good, really innovative. So one last thing before I close this up completely, um, this comes with its own screw. Here was the original screw right here. Um, and that's because uh, this has a threading in here, whereas this has an actual metal nut. And as you can see, mine is really loose actually. It's almost not even in here. Uh, and that is because what this piece does is if you uh, tighten it down, you can adjust the friction. I like my friction to be very, very light. So I put this on here very loosely. Um, but as you'll see here in a second, it, once I put this on um, and turn it back over, I can move it right now, but it's hard to explain. I don't want to turn it upside down on the table. Um, it's very smooth now, but let, let's, let's get the base on. Okay, so I got everything back together. Here is the original base. As you can see, I have the the new one in here. It's orange. So here's the other things. This is super smooth. I have a, a little bit of a detent right here. I feel it. It doesn't stop me. My only complaint about the metal bearings is they seem to be a little bit loud. So I'm definitely going to tr uh, change out for the polymer and give those a try. But the metal ones are so smooth. This is smoother, well, maybe not smoother than my um, verbal throttle, but it is very smooth. It's as smooth, if you have one of these, it's as smooth as this, um, this, uh, this rotary right here. It, it's very smooth. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this upstairs, plug it in and play with it some to see what my experience is. So one of the things I want to get across for this is the install for it was very quick. It only took me around five minutes to install it, probably less than that even. Uh, I, I went in completely blind, I didn't even read any instructions or anything like that. It's, it's pretty straightforward installing this, and the only tool that I used was a screwdriver. Uh, as far as build quality goes, I mean, it, it's fine. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, quarrels I have with the build quality. That's the screws all went in. Uh, perfectly fine. All the all the holes lined up. Every uh, screw didn't. It wasn't stripped or anything like that. So all the screws were were fine. Um, I, I actually don't really have any valid criticism for it. That wouldn't just be completely nit nitpicking. Uh, the, the 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 outside of it is a little bit rough. It's a 3D printed thing. It seems. Uh, so that's kind of to be expected, but also it doesn't matter, because that's not what's sliding on the rails, the bearings are. And the bearings are pretty much flawless. Even the even the polymer ones, which I wasn't really expecting much from, turned out to be pretty great. Another great thing about this is the ability to put a custom detent uh, wherever you want. And you could even put multiple detents in, because the only thing it is is just the magnet. So there's, I, I see no reason why you couldn't have multiple magnets in there. Uh, to set one at the middle and then maybe one at, at, at an afterburner detent for another game if you if you wanted to. Uh, the ability to put a center detent though is something that is incredibly important in my opinion for games like Star Citizen because you tend to stray forward and backwards quite a bit and if you don't want to go dual stick, like I, I, I'm not a fan of dual stick so I like using a throttle still, um, it can be kind of finicky using the button to hit hit that hold that and then throttle forward to go backwards it's not really that intuitive that center detent allows you to uh, get a lot more 
uh, feel for your craft, and I think it, I think it's really good and almost almost needed. It's really uh, really good. Okay, real quick, um, I have installed the polymer bearings. I got the metal ones right there. Um, quick test with these. Definitely fully installed, do not feel as smooth as these. These are not as loud as I was expecting. Like, at, when you're actually playing, they don't really seem to make that much noise. But now I'm going to play with um, these polymer bearings and get some uh, feedback on those. And uh, one last thing here. Uh, I actually installed these upside down last time. Uh, so uh, when you install these, make sure that little little bit right there is on the, the outside. So the polymer ones actually turned out to be a lot smoother than I was expecting them to be. Uh, fiddling around with them on the table, I wasn't like overly impressed by them. I was impressed that they, they weren't sticking. But after once you get into game and start using your throttle, these things are actually really smooth. Uh, I was somewhat surprised by that. I wasn't expecting them to be so smooth, um, but hey, they are. Uh, I'm, I'm playing DCS here, and I'm doing refueling, and anyone who has this throttle will tell you, or will realize very quickly, that when you're refueling, your throttle will stick when you're trying to do very fine uh, maneuvers with it, and it makes it impossible to refuel. Um, if you if you want to just come back like a centimeter on your throttle and that's how much you need, you can't do it. You either have to like come back a third of the throttle essentially from where it finally gives and then, anyway, it's very smooth and these things um as you can see here, I'm I'm holding it. I'm I haven't played DCS in probably mm, 2 months, maybe more than that actually. Uh so just coming back and just doing a refuel like that was pretty pretty nice actually. Almost, I think it's actually better than Actually, yeah, I, I do think it's now. No, I'm doing. I think it's smoother than my verbal throttle. Um, and one one of the things is this magnet that is the detent. That's also smooth, whereas on my verbal throttle, that the detent is actually kind of um, a little bump. So I like to keep my detent in the middle, which is also happens to be where you tend to use a lot of your throttle when you're. Uh, refueling like this, or where, where you tend to keep it, so I'm always like jumping that detent, so it makes it a little bit difficult. And I actually use automatic throttle control for the F-18 when I'm refueling it. But, but yeah, the uh, this this is really good actually. So one more thing, really quick, if this thing had existed before I bought my Verpal throttle, I probably would not have bought the Verpal throttle. The only, well, not the only, but the the big reason why. I bought the verbal throttle was for that center detent, and with this, I mean, it's one, it fixes the the friction problem that I had with the FCS, and then two, I get the center detent, so it's a win-win. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Alrighty, so I have moved back to the metal bearings. I do, in fact, like these better than these uh, polymer ones, but these things are great, actually. Um, so after using them. I threw them straight into the deep end, and I did some. I did a little bit of AC, and I'm like, okay, these things are pretty smooth. I didn't finish that round because I was pretty cemented and saying these are smooth. I, I threw them in the deep end, and I did some refueling. So yeah, they're 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 really smooth um, all around. It doesn't seem to matter if you get these or the metal ones. I like the metal ones more. My my big thing with these, um, they're a lot quieter. Um, this this kind of design where the, it, it minimizes the total contact um, by having these little spacings in here, that's a, that's a very good design because the less contact uh, surface area you have, the better. Um, uh, but yeah, these are a lot quieter, but they also have a little bit more friction, but it's not like a jittery friction. It's just, it's smooth, but it's, yeah, so... If you're looking for something for your uh, FCS throttle and you want to make it smoother, that's definitely the way to go. Uh, this thing's pretty nice.